All right, man, so you're fairly new to Brooklyn, yeah. which means you got a lot of fresh posts on your Instagram feed, Twitter feed. Ready to take a look at some of them? Yeah, let's get it. Let's do it. All right, baby. Now, not to make everybody hungry at home, and I'm sure yourself since it's around lunchtime right now, but dude, wing stop, these lemon <laughs> pepper wings. Yeah, that was, that's an old, old post, but um, yeah, I think lemon pepper are definitely my favorite flavor to go with if I decide to go with wing stop. Yeah. For sure. How many do you usually get? Uh, it depends on how hungry I am, but I usually settle with a 10. 10? Yeah. And you could probably take those down easy a bit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. For sure. <laughs> easy. Easy. Did Rick Ross reply to this tweet eventually, or did you ever see him and get a chance to talk no, to him about it? No, he didn't, no, but um, he's definitely a big influence as far as obviously him being um, an owner of the franchise. You hear it in the songs and stuff, so I was eating it before that, but it just makes it more cool to add, add and tweet yeah. about it, so that's one of the things I did. Yeah, why not? And not to get everybody confused because you do eat very healthy. Right. Right? So right. right here enjoying a nice vacation. Yeah. And you're on the deck. You got a nice platter in front of you, man. Some fruit. Right. Some healthy foods. This Most looks definitely. like the life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> it was a, uh, actually a post for um JD Sports, mm -hmm. who is actually uh, I think they're the owner of Finish Line. Um, a company that owns Finish Line and I just had to inquire the uh, Obsidian ones in some type of way, mm -hmm. and I was on vacation, so just thought to be creative with it. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is that um, I read a great story about when you first purchased your very own bike mm -hmm. at a Walmart, right? And just that satisfying feeling, leaving the store, just being so happy. Yeah. So, to getting to this point. Did not come easy, but that's got to make all of this even more satisfying, right? Yeah, hundred um, percent. Like you earned this, all of this. Exactly, exactly. And that's the and that's the best part about it. Nothing was given, and I think that's why I appreciate everything that I have, and um, I'm as humble as I am because of my past. Mm -hmm. This post gave me a good laugh. Twenty-five dollars for the upgrade. You went for the exit row. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. I mean, um, being being tall, you trying to you trying to be as comfortable as possible, and I'm sure that was a long flight. Um, that seems like a, a summer flight, so it was probably from NY to LA or from LA to Texas or vice versa. But uh, yeah, I took advantage of that. So. That's a nice way to spend that $25, man. Well worth it. Oh yeah, I'll spend it every single time. <laughs> every single time. So you get $25, and if you had a choice between an upgrade on a flight or 10 count lemon pepper wings, which one would you go with? I gotta go with the upgrade on the flight. <laughs> yeah, because I like being comfortable, so I, I'd rather I'd rather be in the exit row. <laughs> you do like being comfortable, and right here, you got this nice outfit going on. You got the cool hoodie, the jeans. Mm -hmm. Notice one thing about you is that you could get a little flashy, but you could also stay very simple. Right, right. And this right here, this is, is, this is the perfect comfortable outfit. Yeah, that's definitely simplicity is key for me. Um, whether it's dressing, life, uh, the game of basketball, just keeping everything simple. And like you said, uh, I can get flashy at times when needed, but uh, I'd rather go the simple route, clean route, and just get up and go. I've seen those Friends t-shirts too that you have in a couple of different colors. Those are yeah, cool. yeah, 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 V-Long, <laughs> V-Long, shout out to V-Long. And this is by far one of the best videos on the internet when it comes to basketball, soccer type skills. Right. I don't know how it doesn't have millions and millions of views, but we're gonna revisit this so that maybe it will, right? Yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. This is my, uh, one of my friends, he contacted me through IG, so that's how I met him, but mm -hmm. um, it was back when I was in Atlanta, and we just, he brought the uh, idea to me to inquire into soccer with basketball. I didn't know how it worked, but um, he was creative, and he pretty much made up all these, but really uh -huh. tested my soccer skills, too. <laughs> yeah, a little you bit. got him. Yeah, for sure, I got a little something to me. <laughs> I love on some of the shots when you look back into the camera, kind of like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah you got to know you're going to make it. <laughs> How long did this take? Because we see some of them look like they could have taken a shorter amount of time than others, but like that shot right there, I don't know. Shoot. Uh, I would think about, probably about 45 to wow. an hour. Wow, really? For yeah, all yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. We, were, we were pretty quick, all especially right, the three-point shots. The behind the head at half court is something I've been doing, not consistently, I guess you could say, but something I've been throwing up in the air since middle school, so uh -huh. just a, a few tries and you can get it right. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty cool, man. So, you got the soccer skills. Mm -hmm. Do you have any camera shooting skills? Yeah, I actually do, um, and also I have a couple friends who um, are always around me, and they're a lot better than I am, but I kind of pick their brain and um, 
I kind of view myself as a Swiss Army knife in a way, just being able to do a lot of different things in life. Um, basketball is obviously my job and a great thing to do and, and a great hobby of mine, but I have other hobbies too. And um, pictures are, are definitely one of them. Now that you're playing for Brooklyn, you gotten a chance to go out into New York and take photos of all the different skylines and everything else the city has I haven't offered. personally, but like I said, my friend who, who's um, with the ph photography game, uh, I actually brought him to China with us. So he got crazy pictures of the games and everybody on the plane and, um, and everybody liked them. You'll see them on some of the guys' pages. And I even took some of the pictures that the guys posted, but you know what I'm saying? I give him the credit because it's his camera, his lens. But, um, Definitely just looking to upgrade as time goes on. Here you are just chilling, also the left right here, playing right. a little Madden. You're a big time Madden guy and video game guy in general. Yeah, uh, I love Madden. Uh, I'd rather play that over 2K. Um, I love Fortnite. And, um, obviously, you see the Uggs. Again, simplicity and comfortability is, is definitely a thing that I take seriously. And I'm um, just trying to get some wins, I guess you could say. Yeah, all around the clock, right? Right. Comfort and getting Ws. This is your first taste of being inside of a video game. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Um, <laughs> what was that like, finally seeing yourself in a game? It was crazy. Um, I wouldn't say a dream come true, because I never really cared whether I was in a video game or not. But um, I mean, it was a great experience, but definitely honored in a way, too. And you took it a step further when you actually got to the league. Right. And here you are right there, coming for 80. ASAP. Saw last year you got 79. So right, you, you, right. I should. That's a cool goal, though. You know I should what I mean? be going up this. this <laughs> I don't, I don't, even, yeah, I don't even want sure to get into all that. <laughs> what goes into those ratings? But uh, yeah. Now the next year, this was your headshot. Right. Look like you, not look like you. I saw some it, of the tweets. I think it looks like me. Right. I mean, yeah. Right. <laughs> I think it looks like me. And then in 2K19, you had mentioned something about wanting to get scanned for the, the following year, which yeah. is this year. Right. So, they, they did a pretty good job, but you want that scan, right? They, yeah, I definitely want the scan. Yeah, I think that's not? gonna um, make everything that much more realistic. Um, it'll also change my hair to what it really is. And um, I think bring, like like I said on a tweet, like I, I need that that it's really me feeling, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's yeah. me, it's me on the game, I see me, but I don't need that, dang, that's really me. Dude, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dude, yes, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Why not get the full, the full. Get this guy's like, scan ASAP. Right, please. <laughs> if please. you're watching. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get it though, I'll get it soon. All right, so last couple. One thing that you did have some creative control over was your logo. Right. This is a cool logo, you can see the initials. Yeah, for sure. Um, like I said, simplicity, um, very elegant. Um, shout out to my college coach, Coach Drew, who connected me with a guy named, uh, by the, goes by the name of Nando. Um, he, he's, oh, he's overseas right now, but he does a lot of uh, logo work and um, he's done things for the basketball community and the basketball world for a long time. So it was an honor. Um, I had my own logo, but when he showed me this, it was just made all the right sense is how elegant it is, how simple it is, and you can actually just see the TP. And um, then nobody has it. So I uh, had to get a trademark quick, and uh, now that's my official logo. Something that looked cool too on a t-shirt. Yeah, you know, like exactly. Like a sneaker or something like exactly. that. Exactly. Got a custom. Apparel, all that. Yeah, digging it. Would you ever get it as a tattoo? And here you are getting some at home. Yeah, for sure, I would. Um, I have a couple logos though, for, so that logo is strictly for products and, and, and the basketball world. And I have another logo that I would probably more so get tatted on me or or bring that to life in other different ways. Too. Okay, okay, cool. Now this setup, this looks like the perfect type of setup when it comes to actually getting a tattoo. Right. Is this your home? And also too, I noticed there's two laptops, you got the iPad. Yeah. You got it going like, stay well connected. Yeah, I got to <laughs> music and now I'm probably just online surfing the web. Um, probably looking at more tattoo ideas. Uh, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> and now this is the final post to look at. Everything that we've taken a look at so far mm -hmm. has been a lot of fun stuff that you've had the opportunity to do that basketball has brought you to. Yeah. Uh, your hard work, your determination, and I think this video right here encompasses all of that very well. Right. I, I mean, yeah, I would, I would agree. Um, my guy Zach Lowe, a photographer and videographer out in um, Atlanta. Um, he's done countless work for the NFL and, and other artists around the city. 
And um, it was just a, a piece he actually asked me to do for me, because um, he read my story um, on the um, Players' Tribune. And, I mean, we probably spent like four hours edit, uh, recording a whole bunch of scenes and for it to come out like it did, it was, it was just perfect. And then this kid he found and just kind of resembles the, resembles, resembles the past and, and the future and what I am now and, and where I'm, where I'm going to go. He's got the chill factor. Right, man. right, right. Exactly. And then a nice little logo at the end. We see all these posts, whether it's on Twitter or Instagram, what would you say is your favorite part about those social media platforms for you? I think just be able to show the versatility of my life, whether it be dressing, um, shoes, which I love, um, and even on my story, um, just posting basketball pictures or videos of my family. Um, more so kind of use my page for myself, um, but uh, I'm, I post my family on, on, my, on my story more, more so than my page. And it's just a way to give, I don't know, the outside world the inside into my life. And there's a lot of high quality content on it too. Right. So uh, now's the time for the plug. Yeah. Why should people follow you? And what do you have to offer? Uh, I mean, people should follow me because I'm 100% authentic. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not afraid to show you the bad and the good. Um, you'll just get a. You'll just get a piece of my life um, if you're interested and you love it.